gonna do a September garden tour. It's the first day of fall. It's a big planting for us in Florida. So I kind of want to go over. We've got a lot of new things, a lot of projects in the works. So I'm really excited to bring you along. This is garden bed number one. Um, it's a raised garden bed. Um, I made with the old leftover pool pavers that we had and this was a perfect spot because kind of useless space. So I use this for a lot of peppers. So I have basil, um, I have a couple different types of peppers. I have some sweet uh, banana peppers. I have orange peppers there. Um, some more, um, I believe those are green bell peppers that I planted from a seed that we bought. Some serrano peppers popping up. This is um, a green bell pepper that I bought. Probably need to harvest it. It's a little small, but it's starting to turn, so probably need to harvest that pretty soon. Um, having a little bit of the pest problems. You can see they're eating the plants. I get a lot of white flies here, just because I'm in zone 9B. It's hot, it's muggy. I always call it soggy September. These are also some banana peppers I grew from seed. Um, and this is a poblano, two of them popping up. That's new for me this year. So uh, we'll see how that does. The habanero is also starting to pop up. Um, yeah, and I've planted some marigolds from seeds here and here. Um, and I did have some onions here. I took them out. I'll show you that bed. Um, I may replant them here. I kind of liked it. It was easy to come out when we're cooking and just get some green onions. Um, and then all this is still open for right now. I may do some tomatoes back in here. Um, I kind of let it fall over there and then maybe do some onions up here. I'm also gonna go ahead and plant some borage, um, which is an herb all throughout here. Um, and see how it does. I haven't done that yet as well. So we have to see how that goes. This is a space I have on the side of my house. Um, so these are huge. I think they're 50 gallon. I don't know. Um, they're just leftover pots that I had. So I planted onions in here. I have some Egyptian walking onions here, which are awesome. Um, they will spread out flower, they'll kind of fall down, and then reseed themselves. These are just some green onions we bought from the store we replant. Um, all this is seeded with some candy onions and Vidalia onions. And then same in this one, I've just uh, planted some carrots. I've done rainbow and some finger carrots in there, so we'll see how those do. And then down here is where I've just planted some beans. So I've done, you can see a couple of them sprouting up. Right there, right there. Um, I haven't had much luck, so we'll see how it works. Um, some pole beans here and also a bush bean variety. This is my water garden. Okay. Fish down in there. He's getting really big, so make sure I bought him another pond. We're gonna be um, putting this in in the next couple weekends. We just have to get this is a new garden bed. We're gonna call this bed number two. Um, my husband just built it. It's lizards are already starting to take over in it. Um, I planted some Melbourne spinach there. Um, so we'll get that to kind of vine up. And then I'm just, I haven't really figured out what I want to do in this bed yet. So I've just planted some Swiss chard I took out of my hydroponic. Um, this one's getting a little sun beat, so we really had to um, step up the watering and hopefully we should be able to save some of the leaves on this one. Um, and then walk over to here's where my pool equipment is. I'm gonna probably plant a cauliflower here and then here because I do have a really small yard, but I love cauliflower. So we're hoping to get a lot of that this year. Um, this is an 
a tomato plant. It's actually perfect for our area. I'm in zone 9B. I'm in Florida. It's a totally different type of gardening um, beast here. So this is an Everglade tomato, which is um, big in South Florida, and I'm in Central Florida, and supposedly it does really well. I think it's originally from South America, but so hopefully that should do pretty well. This is my raised garden bed. I used to use this just for herbs, and now I have decided to move it to this area. It gets a lot of sun here, so I am switching it all over to do more peppers. So this will be my second pepper garden bed, um, just to kind of play around with it and see what does better where. But I have a Cubanelle pepper. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've just started that from seed in my hydroponic. This is Serrano. Actually, I have two there. And this is a Poblano. I'm excited about that one. Um, I have an Anaheim. And back here, I have some banana peppers. All these I started from seed. Then over here, um, I have some parsley. These are getting a little too watered. We've had probably like 15 inches of rain in the past two weeks. So when I say it's soggy September, I'm not kidding. Um, so we go through a lot of parsley as well. So this is fantastic. Here, all this parsley. I started some from seed, so that's popping up there. Um, and then this is some different types of basil. I have some cinnamon basil right here. It's doing really well. Got to prop you up a little bit more. Some sweet basil. Obviously, didn't make it. This is a Thai basil plant. Um, and these are just your regular Italian basils. That one I just propagated over, so that's why it looks so bad. Um, another Everglade tomato uh, and blueberries. So obviously these aren't in season right now, but I have two pots of blueberries. I have one here and I have one over here. And I usually get quite a bit of blueberries off of it. This is an amaranth plant. This is new to me as well. And when they say this thing grows like a weed, they're not kidding. I did not even we plant this here and you can see all the new sprouts in this pot. Another blueberry plant. This is a cocktail tree. So it's a little bit of lemons, a little bit of limes. You can see they're starting here. They probably won't be right for another month or two. And there's my girls. They are my composters. Um, and around them, I tried doing peppers. Realized peppers don't grow, grow well because they don't like the potassium and that's all these girls put off. So I have a Malbar spinach here and I have them all along the back of their run there. Um, it gets a lot of morning sun and then they have all the room in the world to vine up. So, and obviously a ton of fertilizer. So um, here I've planted some rosemary. I'm really hoping to just fill this whole area with rosemary. And I planted some zinnia seeds. I'm not too sure if they're gonna take. Um, more rosemary. I love it. I want it to just literally go to town here. Um, so I'm kind of testing it out to see how it does in this particular area. So this is longevity spinach. It does so well. I actually grew these from seed and then somehow a basil seed got in there. I drop seeds all the time, so doesn't surprise me but anyways I'm hoping that these do really well here I have a ton of longevity spinach growing and I'm hoping this is like right under their egg box that this will do really well here it gets a lot of shade um, gets a lot of air movement so hoping so my last raised garden bed is this one here my husband just made this one for me as well and so I'm fertilizing it, trying to get the, you know, the right amount of water on it. Um, this one is more my lettuce bed. It gets a lot of shade here. Um, I have an umbrella to cover. If it, you know, if it doesn't get enough shade, I can control it. So I have some oregano here. 
I have transplanted this from my um, number three raised garden bed. The It's got the basil and everything in it. Um, just because I wanted to plant some strawberries in there. So that's the plan once it cools down just a little bit more. Um, I've got some marigolds I've started from seed. I'm gonna do that on both sides here. And I'm trying some ornamental kale. I've got ornamental kale there. And then I've got one going here. And this one looks like it's actually starting. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I have Swiss chard here. I took all this out of my hydroponic. And I'll show you that. And this is some bok choy here, all back here. So I'm hoping to get a lot of that that does well here. Also, um, a nice Asian green for a hot temperature. And it looks like I got some basil on that one as well. Um, and this is just a mixed green that I took out of the hydroponic. And then mm -hmm. longevity spinach. And that's longevity spinach is so good um, and you can just cut the stem and stick it into a pot and more grows and that's what's going on there and over there I just did that one so it's not looking as as happy um, and these are Brussels sprouts that I just took from the hydroponic as well so there's three of them I'm testing it out seeing how they're doing here um, let's see and this is, last but not least, the hydroponic. It's a 90 mole hydroponic. It does really, really well. I just pulled all that Swiss chard out of here, so I replanted. I still have a couple larger plants that I can replant. Um, the dill is loving it. The parsley is loving it. Um, these are all empty. I've just started some more Brussels sprouts and cauliflower seeds because again I want to kind of plant cauliflower in some pots. This one here and the other one on the other side and because I have a small yard and cauliflower gets so big um, I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Uh, these are all peppers um, that I'm going to get going. I've replanted a lot of those in the pot so I've restarted some seeds. This is basil. Loving the hydroponic. These are green onion. They're doing okay. They're not doing like I thought they would, but I'm still gonna give them a shot. The lettuce is not <laughs> loving life here, but again, it is September in Florida. Um, they're trying. Let's just say that. Um, this front row is all the taxoy bok choy. So again, I planted a lot of those, but I still have about three left. So I'm gonna see how they do in the actual garden beds. And then if I need to replace them or pick a different spot, I at least have backups. And these are all kale in the middle, which are surprisingly doing well, because again, this is a cold water, cold weather lettuce, and it is hot here. Um, more longevity Egyptian spinach. Those are, oh, I, I did try some marigolds in there. Like, I just put the seed in a couple days ago, but um, with them yet. So sometimes you can see them start to get fuzzy, like they're, they're starting to get going. But again, I'm just waiting on these cubes to come in. I ran out of the cubes and then I'll fill. I have quite a bit of empty spaces in there. All these are empty. I'm going to refill uh, with different things. So yeah. So thanks for coming along for a quick little September garden tour and um, hopefully we'll see some stuff come out a little bit more. Um, September is a big planning month for us here in Florida. Um, again we're 9B. It's so nice and windy and fantastic right now. It's like probably low 80s which is like huge for us. So whipping out all the fall stuff and, you know, really enjoying the weather. So I hope you like this video and I should be doing a lot more. Just letting you know about progress and stuff and seeing how things go. So I'll definitely do a tropical video too because I have a lot of tropicals and I have a lot of great tips. So you guys take care and we'll see you next time.